Welcome back to Tech by Pipe. Today in our studio, we are unboxing the new Gigabyte Aura 17.3 gaming laptop for 2023. This comes with the uh, i9-13950HX processor, 32 gigabytes of DDR5 memory. It also comes with an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 GPU and two terabyte SSD. It also has the 17 Point three, uh, 16 by 9 aspect ratio, which I wish it was 16 by 10, uh, but uh, it has a QHD 2560 by 1440 at 240 hertz uh, screen. Also comes with uh, Wi Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.2. Two. We're going to go ahead and unbox this. We're going to check out the chassis, the I.O., uh, the keyboard, the trackpad, and then hopefully be able to open it up and check out the internals and possibly get some gaming in and maybe just a little bit of uh, benchmarking. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, we're going to go ahead and unbox this laptop. Get through the security seal here. Right, let's open it up here. Okay. So my guess is, is this is the power brick. This is the last, oh, okay, comes right up like that. Oh, that's interesting. Very different way to do it. They got a little fancy with the boxing there. It's all right. Take this all apart. Put it back. And we'll set this off to the side. So let's check out the propaganda here. We got our quick start guide and our warranty card. Let's check this out, see if there's anything. Boy, it's a big, thick book in different languages, which would make sense. Okay. We'll go ahead and put this off to the side. We're going to move that over and we're going to go ahead and open up the power brick and cables. And lo and behold, there's the cable. This is a hefty power brick. So we got a 330 watt power brick. Okay, well, we'll be weighing all of it here in a little bit. But the cable itself that goes to the laptop it looks like it's a barrel connector. Pretty long. Let's go ahead and untie this guy. That's well, pretty decent length as well. So good hopefully we won't have to we can keep this down below the desk and the cable can reach the laptop up here we'll set that off to the side all right so let's check out the laptop All right, that is pretty snazzy looking. Really like that. I like the aesthetic on it. It has this really decent sized rear here. I'm guessing that's for IO and the exhaust and we'll check all that out later. Pretty thin, not too bad. Let's go ahead and check out and see if we can open this up with one finger. And we can, comes with this protector cloth, screen protector. 
All right, we're gonna check out some screen wobble here. Very little flex. A little bit of flex right there at the bottom of the screen on the bezel, but that's really, it's very little. Let's do that one more time, see if there's any wobble. None at all, really. Uh, that's fantastic. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the lid here. Little bit of flex right here, but it is a 17.3 inch laptop. So just a little bit of flex once you get to the middle. Check out the keyboard deck here. No flex on the palm rest or around the keyboard. Uh, just a little bit of flex right here near the grills here. You can tell there's a power uh, button there. Let's go ahead and check out. Uh, the keyboard is pretty decent. I like the fact that it has a numpad. The keys seem a little bit small to me. I can definitely uh, tell you that I'll probably end up uh, fat fingering some of these uh, unintentionally. Trackpad clicks all the way to the top. Feels very, very smooth. Good return. I like the feel of the trackpad. I'm still on the fence on the keyboard, but I mean, so far, so good. Sticker placement is good. Some people care about that. It's not a huge deal to me. All right, let's check out the IO. We're gonna start on the left-hand side here for IO, and we have some venting here, as you can see. And then we have some USB 3.2 type A ports, and then we have our headphone mic combo jack. Let's flip it over to the right hand side. Once again, we have another USB A port, and then we have a USB C Thunderbolt port, and we have some more venting. We're gonna to move to the back, and I'm really excited about this because I like ports in the back for better cable management. Uh, we have some exhaust out the back, and then we have our barrel connector here for power. We have our HDMI 2.1, and then we have a mini display port 1.4, and then we have our Ethernet jack as well. We're going to go ahead and flip this over to where we're looking at the bottom of the laptop, and as you can see, we've got some air intake grills here and some rubber feet. Keep this laptop off the desk uh, while playing AAA games for better airflow. And then uh, we also have, which I haven't seen in a while, but we have a battery reset hole right here. Um, so it's been a while. Looks like we have another uh, foot here, rubber foot here as well, uh, which I failed to notice. Uh, we have a number of screws. We're gonna go ahead and take the bottom plate off the laptop and see if we can't check out the internals here in just a few. And I am interested to see if these holes right here also house uh, some screws uh, to keep this thing secured and it just have these little sticky um, round hole stoppers uh, to block that. And so I'll check that out here in just a moment. But uh, so far so good. You'll also notice uh, a couple speaker grills here as well. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and weigh it, and then we're gonna go ahead and check out the internals. All right, we're gonna weigh the laptop by itself, and that comes out to six pounds, 7.4 ounces, and now we're gonna weigh it, the laptop with the cables, and that comes out to eight pounds, uh, around 11 ounces. Okay, we weren't able to get the bottom plate off the chassis. It is secured um, with uh, 16 T6 screws, which I absolutely hate. Um, but they started to strip while we were trying to take them out, and so we stopped and uh, we decided just to go out to the Gigabyte Aura 17X website. We are the Aura 17X AZF 
is the laptop we got with the RTX 4090 GPU with 16 gigabytes of GDDR6, boosts up to 175 watt max graphics power. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and scroll down a little bit. Um, looks like we can upgrade our memory up to 64 gigs. We got the 32 gig version. Um, also, you have the 2 times 2.5 watt speakers, DTS Ultra Audio Sound. It comes with Wi-Fi 6E. We already know that. Full HD 1080p webcam, uh, and it has supports window hello face authentication, which is fantastic. Uh, we already knew about the 330 watt uh, power brick, but I didn't know about the 99 watt battery. Uh, so that the laptop comes with so that's great news let's go ahead and scroll back up see if we um, forgot anything per key um, backlit uh, on the keyboard so that's good and it says it has two m.2 ssd slots um, so that's great all right And I think that's pretty much it there. Okay, uh, not as exciting as actually cracking open the laptop, but it's good information to have. It's time to check out some synthetic benchmarking and just a little bit of gaming. Um, the laptop is set with everything on high through the Gigabyte Control Center and set to the dedicated RTX 4090 GPU. We'll come back and get more granular with the laptop performance in a future video, but we're just going to hit a couple of the high points and just a little bit of gaming. We're going to start with 3D Mark Time Spy, where we received a graphics score of 19,976 and a CPU score of 15,373. We also ran Cinebench and received a CPU multi core score of 24,207 and a single core score of 2,063. We ran the Cyberpunk 2077 internal benchmarking tool and we received a score of 115.35 FPS on average. Shadow of the Tomb Raider in-game benchmarking tool set to Ultra gave us a score of 28,949 frames rendered with an average FPS of 187. It's really good. We gave Hogwarts Legacy a go, seems like one of the favorite games currently on Steam, and in mid-spellcasting, fighting multiple foes in an open castle, we were able to average between 130 and 150 FPS. I've seen you, Jewel. I know. I'm not a <laughs> luck. Of inspiration. I find another scene. You're the one who released me. Well, aren't you? That's a good thing. What are you doing? Electricity. Look what you got. You're fighting for it. Take it. Quite the impressive fighter, aren't you? But now you've met your match. That's the best you can So that is the first look at the Gigabyte Aura 17X gaming laptop. This thing's kind of heavy. Um, I really like it. Uh, so far, so good. I like the aesthetic. Uh, I like the keyboard, the trackpad. Um, I like the fact that there's some I.O. in the back for better cable management. Uh, really great. Uh, we took a look at the internals via the website. We weren't able to crack it open, but a lot of opportunity for upgrading uh, if you can get into it. So uh, good luck with that. 
Um, also, uh, we did a little synthetic benchmarking and a little bit of gaming, and the results were promising. Uh, we're going to get a little more in-depth into the benchmarking in our next video and a lot more gaming, so stay tuned for that. Uh, we'll post that video as soon as possible. We got this laptop out on the Best Buy website for about $38.50 without tax, so more likely to go over the 4K mark with uh, tax included. Is it worth the price? You know, I don't know. Laptops are a little more expensive with the new um, i9 and i7 uh, processors and the new RTX 40 series graphic cards. Uh, two to three hundred more, uh, even more than that in some. So it's hard to say whether uh, price per performance in this laptop is really worth that price tag. So we'll find out uh, after we do some more benchmarking and get some more laptops in here with the same type of specs. And so later on down the road in a couple months, we'll know a little bit better whether it's worth it or not. And maybe the price will come down um, since then. So that'll be great. Uh, anyway, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this from Tech by Pike, hit the subscribe button. We appreciate it. it helps the channel. None of that gives us an opportunity to bring more videos like this to you. And for that, we thank you. We'll see you in the next one.